Bam, I'm Gory B. Movie. Bam, I'm Danny Nightmare. And we are horror addicts. And today we have not one, but two Bam boxes. <laughs> so I actually thought we weren't getting Bam box anymore because Bam box is nice enough to send us these. And we got one of them really, really late. And then we got another one like two weeks later. So since we're a little backlogged on our band boxes, we're gonna do both unboxings in this video for you today, starting with the one that we got first. And because I haven't really been following the hints, I really have no idea what is in either one of these boxes. It could be anything. We'll find out. Except for Gwyneth Paltrow's head, because unfortunately it's never Gwyneth Paltrow's head. And her head's not that flat. I mean, it's a little flat, but it's not that flat. Not that flat, no. So starting with, the first box we got, I don't even know what month this is for, but you know, it's gonna be in the title. You'll figure it out. There's something right on top. Pick bubble wrap. No, <laughs> you always get me with that. You always get me. Okay, oh, I got the, <gasps> holy balls. Okay, I'm gonna open this up really quick. Is that Isaac? It's not Isaac. No, you're creepy kids. This is Gage from Pet Cemetery. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Gage, and it's from the part in Pet Cemetery where he is wearing the costume that Zelda was pictured in, and he's all creepy. Uh, I just saw the hat. I thought it was Isaac. No, yeah, that's. <laughs> That is awesome. adorable and horribly creepy. Uh, Pet Cemetery is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It is also the one movie that can still scare me to this day. I would say Pet Cemetery is probably the scariest movie I've ever seen. I would concur probably on that. So I love this. We are already off to a fantastic start. Your turn, my love. Oh, did you get bubble wrap? Oh, no. no. I got a sack. Yeah. What is it? It's autographed too. Is that from The Strangers? Pray at night, yes. Does it say Daniel in the front? Close, it says Damien. It is autographed by Damien Mephi, who played the man in the mask in The Strangers. Holy crap, that's you awesome. You look adorable in that. It really brings out the color in your eyes. <laughs> well, I'm sure Lols is gonna look even better in it. He'll probably wear it at some point. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we could hang on to it, you know, for the bedroom. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be even creepier when he shows up in a video with it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. <gasps> it's something in box. That is <gasps> awesome. Okay, fan box. So far, this is the best box ever. I am loving this box. And this item, which I have wanted one of these for so long. I've been so tempted to order one online. It is a replica of Sam's lollipop, bitten off, of course, from Trick or Treat. I love Sam. I love this item. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What do you think? That's that's a very sharp item. I like that. It's a candy. It's a weapon. Walls can use it if he ever decides to go trick or treating at Sam. Yeah, and if someone's not giving out the goods, you know, he can get a little pushy with it too. You know he will. <laughs> Amazing. Top that. It's heavy. <laughs> is it a rock? It might be a rock. <laughs> It's the rock, Dwayne Johnson. There's bubble wrap now. Oh, double wrap. What is this? <laughs> what is it? It's a little gremlin. Oh. He's just being born, like oh. when they get wet and they pop out. Like he's not born in the cocoon style. He's born like, you know, when the gremlin gets wet and little yeah, gremlins grow little, off. Yeah. They pop off like popcorn. Yeah. He is adorable. This is the sweetest little gremlin I have ever seen. Yeah, I like that. And it looks pretty well made. It looks oh. hand painted. That's yeah. amazing. That is awesome. Wow. Bam box. Go Bam box. It's your birthday. Go Bam box. It's your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one more item. Oh, Brains. that's fucking awesome. That is some great fan art of Return of the Living Dead right there. So this is from the fan art collection by David Hartman from Sideshow Monkey. It's signed by him. And of course we have the Tar Man and Linnea Quigley and loads of other characters from the movie Return of the Living Dead, which is a favor of both of ours. This is awesome. It's the zombie movie that started the whole brains epidemic. 
Of course, it says brains on it. So this is amazing. Well done, David Hartman. I cannot wait to frame this and put it on the wall with the rest of our collection. And it looks like this was the March 2018 box. And here's a little slip of paper in here that tells us what we got, which was the Sam Lollipop prop replica, the Pet Cemetery fan art pin with two possible variants, the Gremlins fetus replica, Return of the Living Dead fan art prints with one possible variant, and the signed Stranger's Mask. I gotta say that was probably my favorite band box ever. There was not a bad item in no, the entire box. Every item was great. So what's your favorite? That's such a tough call. Oh, it is. I, oh, I'm gonna go with the mask because it's an awesome mask and it's autographed by Damien. So I'm gonna go with that, but it's still, it's hard to say though. I love my little gremlin fetus. Uh, for me, it is so tough. This box is amazing. I love the mask. The mask is fantastic. I love the art, you know, you mentioned the Gremlins item, but I'm gonna have to go with Sam's Lollipop prop replica. I have a feeling you'll see that and this mask in future videos. We can actually use these things. Absolutely, so for us, these are very practical. This is the part where I normally say thanks for watching, but we got another BAM box. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about that. Return of the Living BAM. BAM! <laughs> BAM! <laughs> oh, tissue paper, guess it's my turn. I never get to do that joke. <laughs> I got the pin. <gasps> Woo! What? Halloween three, three more days to Halloween. Well, there's a lot more than three more days, but that is <laughs> from Halloween three, which you either love it or hate it. We love it. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't love it as a Halloween movie so much, but I just love it, like, nonetheless. You mean like you don't love it like a Michael Myers movie? Yeah, it doesn't really fit into its own series, but I still like it. It's a great one to watch during the Halloween season, though. Oh yeah, definitely. And of course, Tom Atkins. I mean, can you go wrong? No. <laughs> Thrill me. <laughs> Let's see what I'm gonna pull out of the box. Something heavy. Heavy things aren't usually good. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whoa. What is this? Um, it has a tooth on it. It's a ninja star, but what the <laughs> fuck is that from again? I've seen that, but I can't tell you I, for the life of me of what it's from right now. You know, I kind of pride myself on my horror knowledge, but I don't know what the ninja star with teeth in it is from. It, it is very sharp. Like you could, you could actually use this as a weapon. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that is awesome. What movie is this from? I want to say like, Jeepers Creepers or something? I don't know. Oh God. No, it's well, from the, something. The, the paper at the end will tell us. All right. But I don't know, what do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah, I don't know. This might have to go in your office. It's kind of weird. Well, it's your turn. Oh, well, <gasps> I got another Adam Green autograph. <laughs> this oh, time wow. from his hatchet poster. I have a Holliston poster autographed by him. So sweet. We have a Holliston poster. Yeah which I went all the way to barbecue to have him autograph it. But now I got another one and I don't mind because I love Adam Green. That guy is awesome. And we love Hatchet. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Green's gotta be one of my favorite young directors. I love his sense of humor. I love for his taste of gore and violence. He's just a good storyteller as well. Yes, yeah, the original Hatchet and it's got the certificate of authenticity on the back. It says old school American horror, which if you haven't seen Hatchet, it is. It's, it's all the blood and guts and boobs you could possibly want. Kind of brought back the 80s, but put it in a modern setting. Love it. It's my turn. And it's, ooh. Oh, that's cool. This is a really cool print. We've got critters on here and I love critters. You got my boy, Jason Voorhees. Chucky. Camp Crystal Lake sign in the background there. Leatherface, Candyman, a Xenomorph. And this was made by Ken Hazer and it's called Legends, one of three. Loving the critters. Who doesn't love critters, right? People without souls. I know, I wish, <laughs> like if we lived in a place where it was dangerous and we had to have an attack dog, I would have an attack critter instead. Yeah. They're fierce and if you have more than one, then they can form a giant critter. Yeah, like a big ball and run you over. Yeah. They also got like little porcupine spikes they shoot out at you. Yeah, critters are the best, but all the icons on here are fantastic and I just don't have enough Candyman art in my life because you know how much I love the Candyman. He's dead sexy. <laughs> it is your turn. What is um, it? What we got here? <laughs> <laughs> Missing Laddie Thompson. <laughs> well, that's from Lost Boys. Yeah, it's a Lost Boys milk carton. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't know about this one. 
Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's funny, but, but I don't know if I would put this up in my in my house. But it's <laughs> carnation milk. It looks like the old school '80s cartons of milk. If, if you're a huge Lost Boys fan, this will probably tickle your fancy. I think it's funny, but mm. and, it's not uh, practical. I'm not gonna really put milk in it or anything. So. Laddie was born in 1976, so if he wasn't a vampire, well, he's not a vampire at the end, so he'd be older than us now. Probably why they haven't found him yet, because they're still looking for a little kid that looks like that. Probably. <laughs> Have you seen me? Now I want to listen to Guar, but. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to listen to Guar. And in this one, we have a fancy paper. Fancy paper that tells us what we got, which we already know, but let's review. There could have been a few different variants with the Adam Green hatchet signing. There was either the movie poster, which we got, the Victor Crowley poster, or an actual hatchet signed by Adam Green. We also got the exclusive Legends print. And it says apparently you can collect all three in this Legends series he's done to create a giant print. And there's also the Laddie Thompson Carnation Milk Carton Prop Replica. This is an exact replica of the prop in the Lost Boys movie. Build it and display it. Don't cry little sister over spilled milk. It does say we apologize for the bad joke, but it had to be done. We understand completely. I think it's a little cooler now. So, uh, I, yeah. I, I do think it, it, that raised its coolness yeah, it's significantly. Cool. And uh, yeah, my guess was kind of right. The only thing I thought it might have been from was Jeepers Creepers is the bone shuriken. Shuriken from Jeepers Creepers. It's sure to be a great piece in any collection. <laughs> it can be a great piece in your collection. What came to mind was Jeepers Creepers, but I wasn't sure because I'm not a big Jeepers Creepers fan. I've seen it a couple of times, but. And it has nothing to do with the director. I know a lot of people don't like those movies because of who directed it. I just am not into Jeepers Creepers. I do kind of like part two though. Part two is kind of fun. And part three was awful. And then of course there's the pin. And yes, uh, you could have gotten a couple limited editions we got the pumpkin, which I really love, but you could have also gotten the skull or the witch. And this was the April 2018 box. So wow, these are really late. But like I said, we did just get these within the last month. So we get them very late. So it's only partially our fault. So what was your favorite item in the box? Uh, the Adam Green autograph, even though I already have one. I like Adam Green autographs. Yeah, I, I gotta say I love the Adam Green autograph. I think that's probably my favorite item too. A close second would be the Halloween 3 pin. And then the, I like the Legends art. And the Shuriken, the quality of the prop alone is really great. It's just from a movie that I don't care too much about, so. Oh yeah, if you're a Jeepers Creepers fan, I think you would completely mark out for that. I'm just not a big Jeepers Creepers fan. Yeah. It's awesome that it's in there. I'm sure it's gonna make a lot of fans happy. There's plenty of other things in the box that made me happy. Mm -hmm. And you happy. Yeah. And now we're happy together. Da, na, 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 and that got weird. Yeah, you brought the turtles into this. Of course, if you want a band box of your very own, we have an affiliate link in the description below. Uh, get yourself a band box, and it also helps out the channel. So win-win. Uh, and if you like this video and you want to see more unboxings from us, be sure to hack that thumbs up button. And subscribe and ring that bell. Stay notified. And let us know down in the comments below which box you thought was best, the March or the April. I got to say the March. For me too, but I still like the April. Thanks for watching. Cut! <laughs>